Hey guys, this is Thorn. welcome back. In this episode we are going to look at the effect command. So let's look at the syntax for the effect command. Let's just type in effect. And we can see we've got the inputs here of player, effect, and then optional inputs of seconds, amplifier, and hide particles. So hide particles is something new as of Minecraft 1.8, where we can now hide the particles applied to a player or mob or an entity when we give them uh, an effect. So an effect is basically the same as giving something a potion. So think of it as throwing uh, splash potions all around the place and applying it to whatever you want to apply. So the effect command can be very specific and you can target individual players, a group of mobs, etc. So let's uh, look at an example here. So let's bring in a couple more chickens. And now let's give these chickens a speed boost. So let's type in effect. We'll use the at symbol for uh, selecting entities and we're going to narrow down the selection to be of type chicken. And let's say we give them speed one. So the effect for speed is ID one. Duration, let's give it for 15 seconds. Amplifier, let's just say zero, so that's regular speed. And hide particles, let's say false, so I want to see the particles. So that command is ran now for every chicken that's on this island, and it's given them all regular speed. So they've all just got the base speed effect applied to them. Um, but we can go a little bit more creative than that. Let's give them speed. Uh, so amplifier of one is speed two, so let's give them speed three. Let's change that to two. Let's see how fast these guys are now. Oh yeah, they're a little bit faster. I think there is a cap limit of how high the amplifier you can go, but let's try 10. Let's go a little crazy. Whoa, <laughs> that chicken just went flying. Uh, what do you want to do, chicken? Do you want to go for a flyer? Bit of a... What are you going to do? Nothing? Whoa! Okay. You guys are a hazard to your own health, I think. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, you can apply the effect to mobs. Now what I could do is apply, mob, uh, apply effects to other types, so maybe I say everything other than a chicken, which will include myself, and I'm just going to give, uh, let's just regular speed. So now I've got the speed effect, the pigs have the speed effect, but the chickens will not have the speed effect. And you can see they don't have the particles anymore, so the effect they had applied to them previously has worn off, and they no longer have speed. So the selection of uh, the target can be very specific, so let's now just narrow it down to players, and the nearest player, which is myself, I'm in single player here, and let's give myself, I think hunger is effect ID 10, so let's try that, and let's hide the particles, so let's say true, and let's check here, so, oh, it's regeneration, <laughs> so the effect ID 10 is regeneration, I will leave a link in the video description where all the effect IDs are listed out, so you can look at those and read up on those. Um, it's pretty hard to remember and they are just a number so it's not a name or a descriptor it's just an ID to represent the effect. So I do know though that uh, effect 15 is blindness so let's give myself blindness. <laughs> yeah it's pretty cool and I'm glad you probably can't make this in game. It's probably pretty useless in single player. It might be useful on multiplayer or on adventure maps or something like that. Um, but yeah, you can see torches make no difference, and yeah, it's just worn off, and I can see you again, yay! Okay, so, that's pretty interesting. Now, I did want to experiment with an ocelot, because ocelots by default are very fast, these cats. So I wanted to see how fast these guys go when you give them a speed boost. So I've spawned a whole bunch here. Um, some babies in there, some adults, whoa, that's a lot of cats. We've got a bit of an invasion going on here. So let's give these guys a speed boost. So let's say entities, and I'm going to say type is equal to ocelot. Uh, ocelot, I think that's how you spell it. And let's give them uh, speed. If gives, um, for how long? Let's give it for 10 seconds. And let's just give them speed two. Okay. Did that do anything? Hard to know. I don't think I spelt their name right. How do you spell their name? Ocelot. But I think you write it in command. I think it's a 
the Z. Let's try that. Are they faster now? <laughs> it's hard to tell. Let's try again. Hmm. It's a little hard to tell, so let's crank up the speed. Let's go to amplifier of 10. How crazy are you guys now? Yeah, I think they are running a bit faster. Let's spawn a whole bunch more. <laughs> As you can tell, you could have fun with this for hours, I think. Just mucking around with the different mobs and the different potion effects and just giving them all different values. Whoa, so that's a lot of random cats. Okay, it's definitely working. So the, the name for these guys in-game uh, is with a Z rather than a C. Uh, even though you can see the description is with the C. So that's just the way the name of the mob is defined within the game. So there you go, that's pretty much the way that you can apply effects to mobs and players. And you can clear an effect, so let's give myself blindness again. So this is giving myself blindness for 15 seconds. What you can do is you can just change the duration by applying the effect again and reducing it to 0 seconds and that will remove the effect. What you can also do is just use uh, clear here. That will also remove all... Ooh. As they do not have any effects. Interesting. Do I not have any effects? No, I don't. Okay, so let's give myself some effects. Let's give myself some speed as well. Okay, so I've got two effects. Now let's go and clear it for myself. And there you go. So that's how you can remove multiple effects in one go, just by using the clear argument. Um, otherwise, you can remove individual effects by just setting the duration for the effect, the seconds field, um, just to be zero. So I hope you guys found that interesting. I will have some additional information in the video description as always, with some links to examples of the commands I used in this video. I do have the command list playlist. I, check you, I suggest you guys check that out if you want to see more of these kind of videos. Until next time, stay awesome, guys. All right, thanks, guys. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.